Okay, so this is Thunderbird, and I want to tidy up my inbox. Um, as an example, I've chosen this Amaudio newsletter. Amaudio is a manufacturer for audio equipment. So I want to move that into one of my folders, and I know I already have a folder for this. It's called Amaudio, and it's uh, somewhere in this folder tree, but I don't want to scroll down and search for it. As you can see, there's a lot of folders. So I'm just going to grab this and use the Quick Move button, which is on the Quick Folders toolbar on the top left. And once I drop it, I get prompted to enter the folder name or just the start of it. So I'm going to just start typing M. And I get lots of suggestions. So minus for M minus. And you can see I have M audio here. OK. Um, so I'm just going to click that, and that's going to move the email into the M audio folder. Now I also have some more <coughs> M audio related emails here, which were with uh, tech support. So um, I want to move them into the M audio subfolder tech support that doesn't exist yet. So I'm just going to create that quickly. Now, how do I get to the M audio folder? I could choose the same way and click and start typing M audio and then just jump there. And another way is use the recent folders that always shows the last visited and last modified folders. So the ones that got new emails or that got mails moved to. So I could have just jumped uh, to it by clicking the little clock and then the top item there, M audio. Now under M audio, you can see I'm in the M audio folder here on the current folder bar. Under M audio, I want to create a subfolder. You can also see there is no subfolder at the moment. It's just on its own. Uh, quick folders scrolls it into view, so you can use the folder tree if you want to. Although we, most of the time, you will find that you start ignoring it because you don't really need it anymore for um, navigating or tidying up your inbox. So you just right-click that folder and you create a subfolder. Mail folder commands, new subfolder. Um, we call that M audio support. Okay, and click create folder. Right. So now we should have a subfolder underneath this, as you can see. And we can go back to the inbox. So I go back to the inbox, which is my first tab on Quick Folders. And there's my M audio tech support messages. I'm just going to click the thread icon so they're all. Um, are selected and I can choose the same way now I can go okay move that and go to M audio support or I can just be lazy and say support and see what other support I, I have quite a lot of support folders so maybe that wasn't the best way so let's try M minus um, audio and you can see okay there's my M audio and there's M audio support there's also a trash one which I created earlier um, now if I'm interested, if I know that uh, it's a subfolder of a audio, there's another way I can do. I can just go slash, and then that shows me all the subfolders in the audio folder. And it, uh, currently, there's only the one. So once I click this, remember we have um, highlighted these three. Once I click this, it will be moved. I can also do it at a later stage. I can add more if I want. I could just uh, add one more and. Uh, <coughs> I would move that uh, email as well. I don't want that right now but, um, because um, it's not really M audio related. But we could do a quick search here. Let's see, is there any more? Okay, here's another one. So I'm going to add that as well. That's also an M audio. That's MIDI Sport. Um, it's also an M audio product. I'm going to add those. So there's four emails lined up for moving, as you can see, those four. So just need to type again and M audio support and those four emails were moved. Let's check that. Recent folders, M audio, M audio support. Okay, and you can see there's my four emails. And I like my um, conversations tidy, so I'm gonna click message threads so that the related stuff is together. Okay, that's all for today. I hope this was helpful.